A lot of space here, four on four. Byrne has Perkovic to match up against. The pass in tight for Dane Smith, and the body control right in front of the crease. The officials say the goal is good. You're going to see as Josh Byrne attacks the, the middle of the field, frees it right here. There's just so much space because all these players have substituted off the field. So as Byrne kind of bears down on the cage, Epple hedges a little bit, and Frazier cuts right, right back behind him. What incredible body control and footwork to stay out of the crease. I mean, this is remarkable footwork here by Frazier, tiptoeing around the crease. And he's had some issues with crease violations. So credit him in terms of making an adjustment and staying out of there. Previous transition, why didn't Costabile let that go from two? Cook flips it behind, Cloutier in front for Frazier. Nifty little pass this time from Cloutier and Frazier all alone right outside the crease. Haven't been a ton of goals, but they've been some pretty ones. And, and I'm going to walk you through how this occurs. You freeze it right here. You're going to get Finn Sullivan. He's going to kind of hedge over here to the ball. So here's the two-on-one against this lone Redwoods defender. So Frazier cuts behind. You get a little drift. You get a pass in front, and then oh, you get a pass in front. You didn't run in front. Pass in front, and you throw it inside. So gorgeous little three-man action. Nifty stick work to boot, but that's exactly how Frazier ends up wide open on the crease. Goal with 47 and a tenth left on the clock here in the first quarter. The tie the score at three. And again, that body control from Frazier. Bowl, and Blaze Reardon denies the chance for Henningberg. Coming into the weekend, they were the number three defense in terms of overall efficiency. Would give and go for Resch, and Troutner made the save. Rebound to Frazier, and he put it back. Troutner made the first stop. Nobody there for Chase Frazier. He has three of the four for Chaos. What a start to this game for Chase Frazier. Not much more Tim Troutner could do. It's 4-3 Chaos. Like I referenced earlier, sometimes Redwoods, when they get kind of bogged down offensively, you see the ball in one player's stick like a Pinnell, and everybody else is just watching. Good ball movement here, and a slippery little move, and it went! Frazier's got his fourth. That was impressive. He was able to get to that spot and then bounced it nearly straight down. Yes, slippery indeed. The advantage was gained out of the substitution box. You can see Eppel have to rotate over. Sullivan's there, and Frazier is just too slick. You know, you thought he might finish this in front of the goal. He goes underneath, little toe drag, and then right here, somehow finds space near side, uses a little twister, pulls his stick across his face on the shot right here to the opposite side and then snaps down to get enough velocity to get it past Troutner, but that, that's about as slick as it gets. No, Kyle, stay, no, Kyle, right here, right here, Kyle, right here, right here. As I alluded to, he's their field general. Marshall, call yourself on. Say it out loud. Normally, he's calling out those slides, but he's on the backside dealing with a two-man game action, so he's communicating that. And meanwhile, on the near side, you've got Dane Smith going hard underneath. A little show. And an easy one more to Frazier, who just steps up field. There's no second slide. You can see Apple trying to get back, but whether that was Finn Sullivan or Hartzell, in terms of who was supposed to go next, that's the breakdown. So Apple helps, Frazier follows, 
and there's no second slide, and Frazier continues his strong afternoon. Yeah, have a day, Chase Frazier. That's right. his fifth goal of the day. 